Are you thinking about different ways that you can improve your credit score? Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to provide you a couple of tips that you may not have considered to get your credit back on track. You can improve your credit in less than in three months minimum. Assuming that you don't have anything outstanding, like let's say you have bankruptcy on your, yeah, if you have a bankruptcy or something of the sort in the last couple, in the last year or two, there's not much you can do within three months. But let's say you had some missed payments within the last couple of months or so, you can improve your credit score by a couple of points just by showing that you can have a healthy payment history three to six months be smart about your credit try to keep your balances low your utilization is going to be above 30 percent you want to keep your utilization below 30 percent 15 percent is actually ideal now you may not look as appealing as somebody that has no missed payments, no late payments, no uh, high balances. That's another thing when you have revolving credit, because if you don't, then it's going to look like you're, you're maximizing your, your utilization. And this is what I've, I've been taught in um, credit courses with real estate and it still holds true. Again, if you have any questions about that, you can definitely reach out to me or even comment down below in the comments. Credit is really important. I think I'll probably just separate this as a, as a separate video in itself. You gotta have a good credit score, no matter what. I have gotten apartments for people with less than stellar credit scores, but their financials were a little bit better. For example, I've had clients where they had a number of assets in their portfolio and they have liquid income, but because they've purchased so many properties or they've borrowed so much in mortgages, their credit score dipped in the last year or so by a couple of points. But we were able, we were able to shuffle things around, which leads me into if you are in a situation where your credit is just one of the great tips that I can give you is um, having a landlord reference letter. If you were consistent in your rent payments from the previous or from your current landlord and you're moving into a new place, definitely have it in writing, have it have a certified letter with your application. You don't have to ask the real estate agent or anything like that. Just add that to the, add that to the letter. Now, that's if they are still willing to get you an apartment, get you through the door. There are a lot of us agents who will chop you down at the knees. If you have 500 or so credit score, they just will not look at you. However, we will do, we will have like a, a ledger of all your rent payments as well as a landlord reference letter. Those are asterisk optional things now if you can tell the agent like hey listen i have proof i have proof that i've paid my rent consistently even though my credit is not that great show them that that'll help you to get an apartment it should if it doesn't well you know at least you tried that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next episode